Hello, Brother Monroe here, and welcome back to Ultimate Admiral Dreadnoughts. And you maybe saw on a previous video that I mentioned that I really liked the Italian heavy cruiser designs. Now, the heavy cruiser 5 is one I've shown off before, I'm pretty sure. But the heavy cruiser 4 is the one that I wanted to actually build because it has this really cool double deck design. And I wanted to do something with it. It also has this really cool, like, blade effect and the kind of leaf shape front and all, all this cool stuff. It, it Just a really nice looking ship, in my opinion. Um, Heavy Cruiser 5 is better, but less good looking. So, and then Heavy, Cru Heavy Cruiser 3 is just dull. So, Heavy Cruiser 4, for the Italians, definitely my cup of tea. Um, yeah. Really interesting design. I wanted to see what I could do with this ship. So, stick down the towers, which are pretty big. I, I, again, I love these kind of like armoured holes to put funnels in. I think that's really cool. Um, ah, okay, interesting, interesting. Um, and we're going to attack a British convoy. Ah, okay. This one looks like a much smaller funnel, but they're the same size. That's kind of weird. But okay. Um, gonna try and... Uh, I can't, can't fit Barbets at all. Interesting. Now, let's see. We're taking on a convoy. I think 9-inch guns. Probably a perfectly sensible way to go here. Um... Hmm. I am a bit of a classicist. Let's go for dual barrels. Because whilst this is not a barbette, by any means, it is allowing me to effectively use a super firing rear turret arrangement. Um, so yeah, let's go with this. Uh, so this is for dealing with the escorts, like cruisers, destroyers, that kind of thing. Uh, let's get... Hmm. Oh, oh yeah. Oh my. Okay, can't fit 5 inch there. What can I fit there? It's just because of that 9 inch gun, isn't it? Can fit 2 inch there. Kind of like an AA battery. Let's get oh, all the fives, because that just that just that's just mean. Actually, is that too much? It kind of looks silly. You know what? No. This is an aesthetic ship. The two-inch guns look a lot more sensible. There. Okay. And yes, we've got a five up here. And let's stick another five here. That works. Actually. Can we get a six inch gun here? We can. Out of interest. Can we get six, six inch guns there? Oh, we can! <laughs> okay, yes please. So, yeah, kind of a, a very nasty forward firing setup. And then, hmm, does it make more sense to make those, yeah, let's make them jewels, even more elegant. It's kind of really mean oh, I'm making this ship surprisingly uh, surprising me um, now of course we might want some torpedoes and yes I am using the underwater launches what of it um, this uh, let's go for diesel oil natural all the dodging can't go at 30 knots. 29's fine, though. 
the best armor. Wow, we've got a lot of weight to play with. Okay, I like that. Uh, high TNT, we're, we're killing... High TNT standards? Like, we're, we're, we're killing escorts and transports. We don't need to, we don't need bigger shells. Um... Uh, hydro, just a hydrophone, because it is a, it is a pretty big ship. Uh, armor. Go for an eight inch belt with a four inch extended belt. Four inches of deck, two inches of deck extended. Mm, say ten on the turrets, four on the secondaries, four on the tops of the turrets. We still have to stuff a ten inch belt. Five inch, oh no, five inch extended belt. We go five, no. Uh, tower at ten. No, not twenty. Not twenty. Okay. Yeah, and then a tower at like thirteen point three or something. Okay. Interesting. Interesting mixture. Not, and yes, I have left the range at medium because uh, uh, this is a semi-realistic build. I just want to see what's possible. Um, I, 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 I like this ship, the Etna. Let's go. Can we kill a British convoy? Right. Seems we've come up on the convoy itself. Let's uh, slow down to full. So reload time on these. Fifteen seconds. Wow! Wow! Okay. Decent accuracy as well. Like we just have the transports at the moment. I'm gonna switch the torpedoes off. Just until we find the enemy warships, which must be around somewhere, but we can uh, bully uh, transports. Oh, whoa, what and, the hell? Uh, excuse uh, today, me. Um, Should not be doing something. That. No, that was a video I left processing in the background. <laughs> Apologies for that. Two of me. Uh, one's more than enough, I think. Ah, we have spotted the enemy escort. Here she is, the light cruiser. Does have some torpedoes and a pretty similar layout to us, actually. Just a bit less elegant. Look at that squat. Kind of ugly design compared to our glorious sleek mmm just 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 a superior ship look at it mmm Anyway, we should... Eh, I can probably ignore them for now, but let's get the torps lined up. Um, I mean, if we can just happily just sink the uh, transports for a bit, I'm not going to complain. Enemy ship isn't even firing on us yet. So she might have uh, smaller guns than us.
probably not even six inch guns. It's the destroyers I really need to watch out for. That, is that actually a destroyer? Oh, it is. Oh, hello. Right, guns on the destroyers, please. They need to die. Okay, that's not actual transport. Although they don't have a lot of torpedoes, they do have enough that I think the destroyers need to go. Six inch guns firing two now. Fire flooding. Wow, pumping out the water really quite effectively there. Advantage. 21 inch torpedoes. Short ranged, fast ones. Interesting. Standard bulkheads, anti flood 2. That's just surprisingly good at pumping out water. Five torpedoes. So turn away and increase the flank. Yeah, if you get the drop on when those things are launched, they ain't hitting you. <laughs> Well, we're not hitting them. All of them got those uh, really big launches. They do. Okay, we'll probably close in a little bit then. Oh, hello. Oh, shit. Um, uh, indecision. Okay, finally kill the destroyer. Forwards. Just need to make sure I don't run into the other one. There we go. Smashing. Tops avoided. Are they reloading? They are reloading. That's good. Lizard will reload first. So if we can kill her first, that would be handy. Oh, she just fired. Never mind. Yes, I know, I'm switching targets, because the obdurate will be able to fire next, so we want to put some punishment on her, maybe take her out before she can fire her torpedoes, is the basic idea. Like that. And once she has fired them, because we're not going to kill her, there we go, we can go back and fire on the little, actually. Yeah, that'll go back. Oh no, wait, the Wessex has moved in right Oh, she's already fired. 
fight. Yeah, so the lizard will be the next to fight. So that's the one we need to kill. Uh, she has one round left. Uh, Wessex has more. Just able to pump the water out so quick. Which means that they don't slow down very much. Ah, there we go. Engine, which they immediately repair. Oh, the Indy also has torps. Indefatigable. Nice. Um, right. Torpedoes on the Indefatigable. You may fire if you get a shot. <gasps> oh, she has sneaky torps. Those must have been from the Indy. Yep. To please the village, it's the minus 68. Okay, I dislike that. You need to go. Oh, crap. Where did those come from? I really shouldn't be tangling with the escorts. I should just go and leave them and kill the transports. But god damn it. Pride. The obdurate's about to kill me. Yep, just fired. Oh, we fired our own torps. go nowhere, obviously. Although, we're doing quite a lot of damage to the Indy. With only a few bulkheads. We're able to turn on a pin. And fire another set. Damage rudder, which they immediately... Oh no, we damaged it again. Good, good. But, she's avoided. Boo. Flooding. Sneaky deaky torpedo. Dead. Good. No torpedoes. No torpedoes. Wessex does, though. All guns on the Wessex. We can only now make half speed, which is pretty awful. It's just only going to run low on ammo, which is concerning. Flipping destroyers. Please hit. Come on, killer. That's okay. Actually, no, just switch those off. Alright, let's just murder these two.
and she goes south west. Really? No, it's this way. We've got a radar blip on them. Now, can I even catch them? Probably not. <laughs> Uh, yeah, I uh, I don't think I can catch the transports. I I know transports are slow, but they're not that slow. Um, once I split them off, what I should have done is gone for the transports. You know what? Let's let's just uh, restart the map. Let's try this again. Let's be sensible. Yes, just usually the the old noggin. So yes, there are enemies. We are here to kill transports. Let's try again. Terrible accuracy at the moment. Because we're just so far away. Still got a hit though. It's a bit of a bonus. <laughs> that destroyer coming right at us? It is. Oh, they just fired. Like, literally just that second. Um... White bear just fired. Do they only carry one, like two shots each? They do. How fascinating. At the uh, Aurora back there, it does have torps. Fire both sets. Good, 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 good. Ah, uh, that's not less good. I'm gonna have to do the risky thing. have the torps loaded. Just 
get some shots into the retriever, killing her. Nice. And now that we've bypassed, this is where I made a mistake last time. Now that we've bypassed the enemy escorts, what we should do is head for the convoy. We're trying to scatter. If they want to get that stupidly close to me, then they can. <laughs> Okay, let's go. Because, yeah, as the white bear pulls alongside, she's getting peppered. She tries to catch up to fire, and then just killed. Meanwhile, all these lovely transports are coming into range. <laughs> Tornado's going to find it hard to catch up with a little light damage. Let's see. Transports do have guns. The Bar Fleur, for instance. Here's the Bar Fleur. <coughs> And it's important to know that two inch guns can do a lot of damage to transports. Whilst keeping the tornado and the aurora at bay. Oh, that's a good hit. Down goes the Canada. Look how much damage those two inch guns have done. That's insane. for a triple sinking here. Guns on the Van Ock. Torpedoes on the Sardonyx. And more on the Leviathan. <laughs> As the light crews are getting a bit close. Sink. Yep, there we go. <laughs> I love just bullying ships with two inch guns. It's just funny. Look how much damage you can rack up. Just just do it. And this all overpens as well. Here's Illustrious. Next is the tower.
There goes the tower. Last is the sapphire. We're kind of working over the two and six. Okay, that's what I should have done the first time. Okay. All transports dead. Now I can play around with the light cruiser and the remaining destroyer. Kill the transports first. Just because we're burning through ammunition. And although they do have 7 inch guns, they don't do that much damage against us. I think I should check where a top tube, tube singular is. It's on the back. Smacking it repeatedly. There we go. Those two inch guns really, really do the work. It's bonkers. She goes right just the tornado left <laughs> find sorps at it because why not does she have her own torps yeah she does one salvo your last shot. Mistake. And down she goes. Well, there we go. What a nice little bully that ship is. Um, yeah, happy with that. Hope you enjoyed that one, and I hope to see you again soon for some more Ultimate Admiral Dreadnoughts. Goodbye.